I started sending nudes for the first time this year, uh, for the first time in my life. Thank you so much. Don't let this turtle neck fool you, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I am. I'm sending them out. I'm firing them off, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm good at it, too. I, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, for a long time, I didn't because I felt like I was above it. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not at all, you know? And my nudes are great, because I took a photography class in uh, college, right? So I'm giving you depth, I'm giving you foreground, background, I'm color blocking, you understand? This is art. And here's a little advice for dudes sending nudes. Pick up your fucking socks. If you can't put in the effort to pick your socks up, I know that I'm better off with a vibrator. You understand? Like, I can see that right away. And like, if you're sending like a, a mirror nude, I don't know if that's the technical term, I'm new here. Uh, but if you're sending a mirror nude and your counter is a mess, I don't wanna suck your dick. I wanna put the top on the toothpaste. Do you understand? Like, that's just a little bit of effort would go a long way. <laughs> That's really good advice. Uh, I'm gonna be a really good stepmom someday. <laughs> yeah. I got a stepmom vibe, right? <laughs> Love every other weekend and on the holidays? Yes, please, you know? And I'll take you out. I'll take you to the park. I'll take you to the park, you know? I'll ta I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out. And you'll give me a little bit of attitude, but I won't care because I'm fucking your dad, right? <laughs> it's pretty much my dating status right now. It's just like a crow in the branches of an old oak tree, just like waiting for your parents' marriage to dissolve so I can just like swoop down and ca fuck your dad. <laughs> I got the face of a stepmom too, right? Like I look like somebody you like would trust but not somebody you'd like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen mirrors. So it's at Molly O. Austin. Uh, you can DM me pictures of your hot dads, no uggos, okay? Uh, that, I mean that, right? And I could be your new stepmom, you know? <laughs> at Molly O. Austin, send me pictures of your dad. We can share a dad, right? <laughs> now, I probably wouldn't make it to stepmom. I'd probably just be like some weird lady in your kitchen in the morning once in a while, right? You know, it's kind of more my style. I like being single, I am single, I like being single. I like going where I wanna go, I like doing what I wanna do, I like seeing who I wanna see. I like having the types of sex that I like to have. And there are so many different types of sex and there are these apps that can make your dreams come true. <laughs> like I'm personally on Bumble and I crush it on Bumble, thank you so much. I didn't crush it at first, but then I figured it out. I cracked the code, it, well is anybody else here on Bumble? Oh, just one sad lady in the balcony? Yeah, fucking right, suck my tits. It's a proximity app, you idiots. I'm gonna get off stage, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna see all your dumb faces. Swiping left. <laughs> yeah, whatever, even if you're in a relationship, you'll probably break up. Uh, statistically, <laughs> statistically. Uh, so when you have to get back out there, I'll tell you how to crush it, right? It's a very easy process. It's just step one, hide your personality. Hide your personality, get on the date, and then you release it like the Game of Thrones dragons, right? And then after that, 80% of success is showing up, you know? Like, you might not end up together forever, but you can go home for the night, you know? Uh, there's a multi-million dollar film franchise dedicated to how a boy will fuck a pie, okay? You're better than a pie, you know? And then step two is to get your friend who's very critical of your eyebrows to arrange your profile pictures. And that part's a little harder, a little sadder, right? But it's worth it. Like I met this one guy and he was so hot. Like he was so, so hot. Like he's still hot, he's not dead. And uh, we went out on this great date and we went back to his place and he took off his shirt. And can everybody see me? Because he had uh, these muscles. Yeah, I know, I know. And I was like, <laughs> And in my mind, I was like, Molly, be cool. Like, act like you've seen it before, but... I hadn't. Not in real life, you know what I mean? In, like, movies and pictures on The Rock's Instagram, of course, but real life, no, you know? <laughs> and then we had sex, and I had so many orgasms, the real kind ladies. Uh, 
yeah, that by the final orgasm, I thought I was having a stroke. Uh, because I've been having sex for long enough to know that it's just real tough stuff on you fellas, isn't it? Just real tough stuff to make a lady come once, let alone multiple times. And I remember the final orgasm was gearing up and I was like, am I dying? But then no, you know, it's just a cool orgasm, right? You know how good it's gotta be to contemplate death and still come? Like, obviously not for men. You come no matter what, right? You're like, you're making eye contact with an oil painting of your mother. It doesn't slow you down a tick. <laughs> but the female orgasm is so fragile, right? It's so fragile. Like, I remember there was another time I was having sex, because I get sex, and um, I remember I was looking at the wall, and, and in my mind, I was like, oh, wow, this is going great. And I was like, hmm, is that eggshell or off-white? And it was gone. Right? Gone. It's like when you blow a kiss and you're like, where's it go? You know, you don't know, but it's not there. Uh, <laughs> and then in the morning we woke up and he made us coffee and then he made his bed and then he put on a suit and he went to work. I said he put on a suit and he went to work. You're all sitting here acting so cool like you're dating the guy with the face with these muscles, with the multiple orgasms, with the suit, with the tie, with the job. No, you're not. No, you're not. It was a miracle on 34th Street and 34th Street's my vagina. You understand? I was walking home like a backup singer. I was in the streets. I was like this. I was like this. I was giving people points and winks and making a ton of eye contact and nobody liked it. But I didn't care because it was the best day of my life, right? It's only a walk of shame if he doesn't make you come. Yeah, because that's a shame. It's 2019. If a man isn't making you come, he's not even putting a Google search into it. You understand? Or he can't read. And even then, he could be like, hey, Siri, how do I make a nice lady come? And she'll tell you. That joke's fun for me, and I'll tell you guys why. Uh, because the men who laugh, laugh like, ha ha, yeah, what a bunch of idiots, you know? And then the ones that don't are like, am I doing it? <laughs> and that's for me as well as you, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big believer in like getting what you can get while you can get it, right? Like I read this article where a bunch of elderly women were interviewed and they were all asked, if they could go back in their life and do anything over, what would they do? And a lot of them said, I wish I was more of a hoe. A lot of them said this. <laughs> and if you look at the STD rates in nursing homes, they're through the roof, okay? So these are just cold, hard facts. Uh, so I think my point is just like, do it, do it while you have your knees. <laughs> like you use your knees so much more than you think you do, right? Like I don't even get on top anymore if I'm not in love. Saving my knee cartilage for marriage. It's my dowry now. So, you know, let your dad know about my knees. 